in this video. Oh, it smells really good. We're going deep into the food of one of Ethiopia's biggest markets. This place is known as Chola Market. It is wild and it has absolutely everything from cooked, ready to eat food to food that's still walking around alive with a heartbeat. I just got to Ethiopia about two hours ago. It's my first time here and I can't wait to see and learn more about this place. It is a huge combination of different cultures, people, tribes, and foods. This place is bustling. It's a city of 5.5 million people. That's a lot of people. And so that's gonna be a lot of action here at this market today. We're gonna see what people have to offer, what the typical wares are. And then of course, we're gonna look for the most unique, interesting food we can find. Let's go. We have come into the kitchen of our first destination right here. Hello, Salam. feeling good? You know, this is what people like about my show. I have this amazing ability to build rapport with just anybody around the world. Look at this. This lady is not impressed, actually. But who cares about that? Here's the food. Right here we have a pepper and tomato sauce, and she's put in some oil as well. She's scooping out some spaghetti noodles. Even more sauce going on top. It looks very fatty. That's gonna get a little bit of a mix. Here we go. This is the sauce, very oily, and it smells incredible and very spicy. And then here's just a giant stack of injera. Injera is Ethiopian bread. That gets ripped up and put into this rich sauce. Give that a little bit of a mix. So now the sauce-soaked injera bread is going on next to the pasta. Wow, and even that gets mixed up together. From here, vegetables layered on top. What? Even more bread? This is enough to feed eight people. She rolls up the bread. She tears it into three different pieces and she puts that on the edge. That, my friends, is complete. I'm gonna say ganalo. Oh, and a handshake. Thank you. Hey, we bonded in the end a little bit. Hi, everybody. Hey, everyone. He just wanted to say hi to the world. Yeah. It's not the whole world, but like half. Yeah, it's right. good. Cheers, man. Oh, he still got to wash up. He just ate with his hands. I'm going to do that, too. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. We have our meal right here. This costs $5.5. It's a lot of food. Actually, I came in here. I saw him and two of his friends were eating a platter exactly this size. I saw it, and I said, I want to get that for myself. This is the injera bread. This is like this magical bread of Ethiopia. It's flexible. It's flat. It rolls up. First of all, it has a slightly sour smell to it, like a slightly fermented smell, but that's very pleasant. All right, here we go. We're gonna get a nice healthy bite. Oh, look at that, big noodle bite. Oh, it's a bit spicy. It's a radiant heat in my chest, and I taste tomato in there too. The sauce is also a little bit sour. My main thing here is that this is like carb on carb on carb. Use the bread to eat the bread. That is what's happening here. It is basically like a little bread roll up. It's like, what's in your bread roll up? Uh, bread, obviously. But that wet bread has its own texture. It's spongy, sour. It is a good flavor. I like it. Wait, right, last bite right here. It looks like some cabbage. It looks like some local greens. That's a nice, healthy bite. Cheers. Tastes like something between cabbage and collard greens. It is also very sour. This is our first meal for today. A delicious start, very unique, very creative. Let's keep going. We are truly in the market right now. Right here, they're uploading some of their livestock. Saw them right here in these big giant baskets. These are full of chickens. Oh, he's gonna pull it up. Wow, the chicken doesn't like that much at all. All right, what a guy. He just said, hey, I can show you a sample if you want. Here it is. I'm not exactly gonna bring it back to the Hyatt, but that's looking juicy. Yes, thank you. I'm gonna say ganalo. In goes the chicken. This is no easy feat. It looks heavy, plus it's very bulky. It is just like a giant tumbler. It's like a dryer full of chickens. Oh, look at this technique. On the shoulders, he gets a good grip. Feathers flying everywhere, and he takes it away. Stumbled upon another restaurant here and there's so much action going on. Oh, take a look at this. This is a huge big pot of cabbage. Do you need help? Nope. Do you want me to do it? No, 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 no. All right, I'm helping out a little bit. She absolutely did not ask for my help, but I just jumped in anyways. Oh, it smells really good. So I've just asked to order some. So she has a cast iron skillet. She just put some kind of a spicy butter on it. And now cabbage goes on top of that. Take a look at this. This is a hot sizzling fajita plate. Oh, and then it goes on top of some injera. Thank you very much. Beautiful. This right here is some traditional Ethiopian coffee. Oh, yes, sugar, please. So she asked if I want some sugar. I said yes, because I think it's going to be very bitter. Whoa. That is looking very dark. It's going to give me a heart attack. It looks small, but threatening and deadly. I'm scared. All right, let's go eat and drink. Drink. Looks good. good uh, I'm gonna eat it very soon. <laughs> She's behind me like, hey, you're taking up all my space. At least eat it. We have our coffee. We have our main course. All this together, $3. Here we have the cabbage that I helped make. We have the injera bread. And then right here, some chili powder. This is Ethiopian coffee. My first taste of coffee in Ethiopia. Cheers. It's such a nice flavor. I gotta be careful with that though. It's gonna give me heart palpitation. We have about 25 people watching me eat right now, like these guys right here. 
Hey. <laughs> I'm gonna take some of this in Jira. I'm gonna pick up a big old piece of cabbage with spices. The smell was amazing. I'm told there's cardamom. <laughs> it's almost like sauerkraut a little bit. I wonder if the greens themselves are fermented. It's like when you cook kimchi on pork fat, it gets even more sour, except for it's not spicy at all. That's what the chili powder on the side is for. Let's hit it again. Cabbage, chili powder, a little hit of extra flavor. Let's go. That was spicy. I think I inhaled the powder. <coughs> I'm okay. I'm a man. It's so delicious. This might sound like a weird commentary, but if I was on a diet, this is like the perfect food. This has so few calories and it's so filling. You get all the flavor from the veggies and then you get all your calories from the bread and then you get all the heat from that chili powder. It's a wonderful combination. This is just the beginning. Let's keep moving. That's a nice piece of shit. This is something you don't see every day, especially at a market. They are selling dried cow eyes. What is the purpose of this? This is a great fuel for fire. This is something that's seen used all over the world, and it's great because it is like recycling, it's organic. You're not burning down wood from trees. You're taking resources from nature that are renewable. Hey, mm -hmm. screw solar energy, screw wind power, cow poop. Let's keep moving. <laughs> Well, we're not eating bread, we're hanging out in the spice section. That's what they've got right here. This is where all the flavor comes from. We've got garlic, shallots, ginger, cumin, sweet basil, coriander, black cumin, fenugreek, cardamom. As you heard, they have an extensive list of different spices and herbs. This is cardamom. Now, I've never seen cardamom outside of a powder. So evidently, the cardamom seeds are inside of here. Wow, I thought this would be a fun thing to do on camera. It's not that fun. Can you open it? Oh, look at that. He peels it like it's nothing. Oh, thank you. And actually, it's like kind of a bundle of seeds and it smells great. It just reminds me of Indian chai tea. Chai tea means tea tea, for those who didn't know. Anytime I come across a spice I'm not that familiar with, I like to just taste it raw or in its purest form, just so I like have it cemented in my mind what that flavor is. Let's try some cardamom. Wow, fragrant, almost flowery. You're not meant to eat it that way, I'll tell you that. It almost makes your tongue cool in the end because it's just a pure dose of cardamom. There's a hint of almost like a tiger balm in there, like an icy hot, but the icy part, not the hot part. Let's keep moving. All right, we found our next food right here. This is a unique cactus fruit. He's got a bunch here and he's got some that are cut already. I've never actually eaten this fruit. I don't think I have. Oh, he peels it open and then take a look at that. I'm gonna try just to see what it looks like on the inside. Yeah, really unique texture. It's like all these individual seeds compressed together to make a really funky looking texture. I was gonna share this with him, but it's it's pretty gloopy and it touched my hands quite a bit. Eat. Eat? He's like, I got cactus to sell. F and hurry up. Very mealy, like an overripe apple, just a texture. And then tons and tons of seeds inside. Slightly sweet. It's good? Yes. Is it uh, healthy? No. No. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Super unique, interesting, and kind of good. I think I like it. Oh, wife tax. Wife bites. Right. We've hit another stall on the edge of the market here and come take a look at this man right here with a huge plate of samosas. They're super fresh and he's gonna drop them in the oil right now. I love that you can see that they're homemade and he's frying it right here. It's not like you fried it at home and brought it here. These are gonna be fresh. These are gonna be hot. We got some burgers here. We're gonna get some of that too. I did not expect everything to be vegetarian today, but here's the thing. The city doesn't only have vegetarian food. That's what we're trying so far, but the market we were just in, they also have big raw slabs of beef hanging out and people eat it raw. We're gonna be doing that later on the main channel, but for now, this is a potato sandwich. Obviously we have tons of spices. We have potato kind of cut into French fries and I heard there's onions too. Let's try it out. There's a lot of chili butter on there. That's bringing some heat. So far, people here, not afraid of spice. I like that. The bun is nice and soft. As you bite into it, to get through all those fries, the bun really shrinks down into kind of a mashed piece of bread with plenty of potato in between. It's an interesting way to eat french fries. It is filling, it is satisfying, it's extremely affordable, and it's very filling. This right here is 50 cents. That is the sandwich. Now, I'm moving on to the samosa. They use a wheat dough wrapper on the outside, and I asked, what's inside? Is it potato, chicken, mutton, pork, beef, veal? This is actually a lentil samosa. Let's try it out, cheers. Oh, mm -hmm. so hot, so greasy, very nice taste. It's got tons of chives in here. This is fantastic. The lentil is starchy, it's warm, it's almost like a split pea, but then there's tons of onions in there too. A good amount of seasoning, it's salty. It's very nice. Is this your recipe? This man right here. Hey, his recipe from home. That's fantastic. I've had samosa in many places around the world. People will fry it and sell it for days. It's cold and it's stale when you get it. This is so warm and delicious and steamy and it's full of lentils. Mm -hmm. You hear the crunch? Every time the crunch, very good. Also, only 50 cents, very affordable. Let's keep moving. 
All right, we just stumbled upon this band right here. So, Alam, nice to meet you. So, I'm told this is like a, a local natural toothbrush. Before the industry of brushing teeth was corporatized, this is how people did it long ago and still today. It's a wet stick. It comes from a very specific plant. And then you just rub it on your teeth and then you kind of rub it. Someone wrote in my comments today that my teeth are getting yellow. So, hopefully, this helps. Good? Uh, thank you. They are very cheap, just a few pennies for one. I'm going to buy this one because it was in my mouth. It seems appropriate. I'm going to say Ganado. Mm. We have stumbled upon what I think is gonna be our final food for today. Right here, this woman's making another type of sandwich, but this is a falafel sandwich. Let's go see how it's made. So this is how the falafel making process works. She has a unique tool here for portioning the exact right amount of falafel batter. So then she dumps it right here into the oil. The falafel is coming fresh out the oil. That looks delicious and very, very crispy. Everything starts with a white bun. We get three, not one, not two, but three falafel pieces, and those are all sliced in half. That goes inside. Then we get a dollop of this green chili sauce, which looks delicious and spicy, perhaps, and then an egregious amount of ketchup. I've got my sandwich here. Let's go eat. Come take a look at it. Generally, I'm not a huge fan of falafel because I find it really dry and gritty, but this one sure ain't dry because she put about a metric ton of ketchup on there. But I got to say, it kind of looks good. It looks soupy, it looks goopy, and it kind of looks pretty. I'm getting a lot of sugary tomato notes so far. The bun is a bit dry, so it's hard to work your way around. Falafel is so dry, it kind of makes sense that you might want to let the falafel soak up all that ketchup. If it was up to me, I think I would just open it like this and eat the falafel straight up. Let's try that. Mmm. As someone who usually does not appreciate falafel, best falafel I've ever had. Insanely crunchy, even with a Niles River worth of ketchup. Very, very good. The woman preparing this was a Muslim lady. Actually, the population here is about 25% Muslim. The majority is Christian, but it's a lot of different groups mixed together, which means more food. I like it. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the video here in Addis Ababa. I hope you enjoyed it. I really didn't know what to expect. I walked in blindly. I had a wonderful guide with me. Huge thank you here to Mule for joining me and guiding me along the way. Otherwise, guys, this is just a little bit of a taste or a teaser to come soon. We're going to be posting on our main channel a lot of content from this country, from tribal food to exotic food to an even bigger variety of street food here in Addis Ababa. So stick around for that. Otherwise, guys, thank you so much for watching. That is it for this one. I will see you next time. Peace. All right. I... Don't need more bread, I can tell you that. I need some meat. Elevate your style with our brand new clothing collection. Rock out in our threads, feel the thrill of culinary adventures, and celebrate with us in style. Head on over to beffers.shop today.